heck, we don't even know if Snowflake and Databricks are going to be there in 10 years. I know they're big, but we don't know that. They came out of nowhere over the last five, 10 years. We don't know if they're going to be around the next five, 10 years. I forgot what it's called. It was called like the, is it the Lindy effect? Basically, it's this thing in business where it's like the amount of years something's been around, you can expect it to be around that much longer. So like if Amazon's been around for 50 years, it's a pretty safe bet to say Amazon's going to be around for the next 50 years, like 50 more years at a minimum, right? So so Amazon's, in, you know, inclining, 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 and, and if they ever start to decline in terms of a business, um, it will probably take 50 years before it fully dies out, right? And so Databricks and Snowflake, we don't know. We don't know. They might go out of business because some AI tool comes out and, and you know, they haven't been around that long, right? So um, again, no no hate against Snowflake and Databricks, all, all, all love to them. But, um, you know, my point is like the way you protect yourself, because I know, Amar, that, you know, there's a little bit of fear in that question you asked, like, will data engineering decline with the rise of AI? The way you protect yourself is just learn AI, right? It's not like you're, it's not like, someone is holding a gun to your head and saying, don't learn AI. And, and for us specifically as data professionals, there's three ways we have to learn AI. 